And we're gonna put the beacon right, uh, right here, and right here. Now we can head up easily. Okay. Hey, everybody. I'm Paladin, but you can call me Pal, and welcome back to Pal Play Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we completed the Silent Realm in this area and got the Fire Shield Earrings, which will allow us to progress further into the volcano because now we can, our body can stand heat. How, hearing, how earrings protect our body, I don't know. Now, um, right before I started record recording, I noticed this crack here. I, I do not remember this at all, so this is a secret that I've never discovered before. So let's discover it together. Inside is a chest. Okay. What's inside the chest? I'm guessing 20 rupees. Yep, 20 rupees. Okay, it wasn't that big, but it was... That's cool. I didn't know that that was the, here. If there are any other cracked walls that I've missed, tell me. Because I'd like to know. Now, the reason why I'm all the way over here is because I realized that we missed a, um, come on. Can we kill you? How do we kill you? Ow. Oh, we, we should wait until he starts breathing fire. There we go. Throw. Death. Oh. There we go. Stab. Okay. That's how you kill him. Okay, so anyway, I discovered that we forgot a heart piece, and there it is. Um, last time we were here, I neglected to pick this up, so let's pick it up. You got a piece of heart. Collect four to com a com uh, uh, Collect four to increase your heart capacity by one. Three to go. So, that'll heal us and get us started on a new heart container. So, um, right now we just need to... We just need to move up to, uh, where we can access the the new cave. Now, last episode, I ended it off in a different area, and the reason why I started it, started it off way, all the way over here was because of the heart piece, so there's nothing else we need to get in there, and if you've already gotten that heart piece in your playthrough, then you could have just gone from where I ended off the last episode. And actually, I want to see... No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe the maybe the DQ seeds will do something, but we don't have any. I was seeing if maybe that would drop a Rupor, but it doesn't. Okay, so now we can head up the mountain into this gust. And it'll place us right near where we need to go. And here we are. And our earrings will flash. Ching! We cannot go into lava, I believe I said that last episode. Although we can do this, which is pretty epic. We just run over here. No. Oh. Well, I tried to do it. You can actually kind of trick it out and get on the edge of there. Anyway. So, without further ado. Also, it looks like something has been dragged in through here. Or maybe this is a well-worn path. So, there could be monsters in here. In fact, if I know Zelda, there probably are. I like this music, too. I have, a, I have a status update for you, Master. We are now near the crater at the peak of Elden Volcano. See some, uh, orange chews? And we're in the Volcano Summit. I'm detecting extremely high temperatures in this area. However, your fire shield earrings will allow for extended periods of exploration. I calculate the probability of finding the final sacred flame here at 90%. I recommend searching for flames. Well, they're kind of everywhere, Fee. Also, this is a huge area. And while this is not the start of the dungeon, we probably will be reaching it this episode. And let me let me tell you, it's huge. I'm guessing it's maybe twice the size of any dungeon we've we've been in thus far. And it takes a long time, so our three-episode record of beating every temple or dungeon, that will not stand up in this. 
Wii remote. There we go. Come on. Keys. There we go. Go, you go and kill him with the whip. That's the best way. And we can go through there, though that... Actually, no, we can't. We cannot go through that cave over there, though you can take note of it for later. And these are special enemies. <sighs> Link! I did not even do that. Okay. These are special enemies. These are... Cursed Spooms. So they're called Spooms. This mysterious monster's natural habitat includes poisonous swamps and other dangerous environments. It spits out evil curses that it stores up in its body. Cowardly by nature, it sits with its eyes just above the sur surface and will flee if there's danger. Now, these guys, once they hit you with their curse, it will prevent you from using any weapons for a short time. So you do not want to get hit by these. And also, we cannot reach that goddess cube, so... Uh, remember that for later. Let's just go the alternate path, which is through here. Nothing down there. Seriously, there's... Well, I guess there's these guys. That we can kill. There we go. But, it's really straightforward. You can kind of tell that there's going to be more stuff in this area later. I mean, that... That's the same with any any major area. You have to... You really have to, um... You really have to... Expect more than it... More than you're given, I should say. You know, they give us this area where it's basically right now... It's just a place to pass through, but... You can see that it has further uses. What's... Uh... What's through here? Let's go through here first. Survey says, it's Gorko. Oh, hey, bud. We meet again. How have you been? I rumbled over here because I heard someone had, has spotted some goddess cubes in the area. I have a hunch that they may da be down in that direction, but this flaming wall of fire is blocking the way. Flaming wall of fire. Overkill much, Gorko? I wish there was something we could do to put out these flames. Okay. I like his expression. Look at it. He's like... like He looks like he's saying, Really? Why do you have to ask her everything? Master, I have information for you. With the enhanced capabilities of your sword, you are now able to use your dousing ability to find goddess cubes. This will be useful. I've taken the liberty of registering goddess cubes as dousing targets. Please use this, this ability as you deem necessary. So we're just filling up our, our dousing meter. Now, you see this. It looks like a switch. Let's talk. Let's see what the stone has to say. Quench my thirst to clear your path. So, that seems to indicate water. And we don't see any. So, let's go back. And, um, I realized that for us to, um, quench water, we're... For us to quench water, we're going to need a bottle. And we are fresh out of empty bottles. So, we are going to have to drink one. Um, this is more valuable, the Guardian Potion. So, I'm going to drink this Heart Potion. Sadly, it's a waste, but we've had it for a long time. So, I felt that its, it's presence has kind of helped us. Nothing in here. Eh, nothing useful. But there are... Let's see, there are bugs here we can grab and also we can get this water so we can scoop up the water scoop there you go you got some water it's just ordin it's just normal water but it might come in handy sometime so we have water now before we leave here though let's go ahead and use our new dousing ability for goddess cubes there we go we detect one right below our feet but when we look down here, it's actually in that rock. So what we want to do... This sounds crazy. But we want to jump. Let's get a running start. Run. And jump. And we head over here, and there's a, a, pl a platform that was hidden by that spire. So, now that we're here, with our wonderful uh, thanks to dousing, we now have gotten a new goddess chest up above. We've unlocked it, mind you. We haven't gotten it. 
So that's pretty neat. Now, to get out of here, we have to use the claw shots. No. There we go. Come on. There we go. So, we, we have to claw shot all around here. Actually, the stamina potion would have come in a little bit handy here. So, what you want to do is, because you have limited stamina, you want to claw shot as far as you can, so that way you don't have to climb extra distance. Like, I could claw shot here, but you want to claw shot over there. That way you don't have to crawl all that distance. Go up. I don't want to use my uh, leap, because that'll take extra stamina. And we can claw shot up here. And we're at the top. And wow! Those are... That is a lot of butterflies. Got one blessed, blessed butterfly. Yes, I've stopped calling them Blessed, because that's just stupid. Why did I do that? Come on. Ah. Well, it indicates a secret, so let's play our harp. It'll trigger a Sheikah Stone. And get us a treasure. Rumor has it that drawing an arrow uh, an arrow shape on certain walls will cause an object of similar shape to appear. Okay. Now, that wasn't really good advice, because I've told you that. You can get arrows from goddess walls. But what is good advice is to shoot its eye with an arrow. You'll get a rupee. Every time. I believe that they're, they differ what kind of rupees you can get. So that's pretty neat. Although, I don't think they get any any better than a red or blue rupee. So, I don't know. If you, you have a lot of arrows, why not? Why not shoot one? Okay, I, I'm going to stop stalking out. Because I'm just doing what I would do when I normally play. But you guys don't want to see that. You want to see the knit and grit of it. I, I have no idea what that means, but that's what you want. Actually, this is probably a good place right here to uh, farm for jelly blobs. Because that guy respawns every time. I'm not going to do it, because we have a ton, and that's not really a treasure that you need to grind off of, but if you want to, it's there. And if you pour the uh, water on the frog f the frog switch, then the flames will go out. Hey, the flames are out! Now we can get through here! <laughs> I like his little little jog. It just... he he's a, f he's a funny guy. I like him. Hey, what's up? More flames. This is starting to burn me up. Hate to ask you this, bud, but could you do the fire extinguisher routine again? Sure. Now, there are blessed butterflies here, but they actually don't do anything. Oh. Oh, they do. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought they were um, indicating a secret that will be available to us later, which, to be fair, they actually kind of are. Um, when we come back here a little bit later, there is a secret available to us. Rumor has it there's a piece of heart hidden hidden somewhere nearby. That's what it's alluding to. Thing is, you need uh, to get to it, you need to be able to burrow like a magma. So if we get anything in the future that allows us to burrow like a magma, then uh, we'll, we'll look this place up. And this looks bombable, but it actually isn't. It looks a lot like it is, but it's not. Okay, so we want to go get more water, so I'll cut back. Be right, be right back. Okay, here we are. Um, off screen, I went ahead and got the volcanic um, ladybugs that were there before. So if you see next time we get a treasure or something that the ladybug count is different, I don't know why you'd track that, but if you notice that it's different, that's why. I didn't grind for them or anything, I just got them while I was there. Now, I didn't explain this, but what you want to do, because this frog switch is above is above the uh, is above the ground, you have to claw shot up here so you can drop the water off this little, um, I guess you could ledge, porch, either one works. Um, you pour the water off into its mouth and that switches it. Hey, nice work, bud. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I just love his little run. It's just funny. He's, he's not your typical Goron that would be like... I'm a big buff guy, and I lift weights, and I could eat rocks with my teeth. 
Although, Gorons do eat rocks. I'm not sure if you knew that, but... I, they, they do eat rocks. And I'm not doing a bit, either. They do eat rocks. Anyway. Now, this actually has a really good feel. I love its, um... Oriental? Yeah, the Oriental feel of this place. It's not all ruined like the last dungeon, fire dungeon was. It's just really beautiful. It actually, it reminds me of something from, um... Duh. Um... Wow, I can't think of the game. I'll, I'll think on it while I'm doing this. Do you see this, bud? Talk about intriguing. We're definitely getting off the map here. This does not feel like a goddess, like goddess cube stuff to me. I bet there's something super important hidden around here. Uncharted! That's the game, Uncharted. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. But un it seems sort of like something from Uncharted, a little bit. I mean, Uncharted isn't as colorful as this, but, you know, it kind of has that feel. I think. Anyway, all I can say is that that a big frog with a big thirst. Um, I do not think the amount of water one of your little bottles c can hold is going to cut it this time. Hmm. hmm. You'll have to have a big container to hold the water needed for this job. Got anything like that? And speaking of which, where are you going to get the, all the water? I gotta say, um, I gotta say, I am pretty much stumped. Also, how are we gonna get it that high? Now, before we, we do this, let's go ahead and point... There's a goddess cube up there. So, to get it... Well, first, to get it... Before we get it, I mean. Go ahead and hit that... Really? Okay. I would have thought that would have done something, but... Okay, get your claw shots out. And... Where is it? Oh, you have to you have to climb out this window. That's what you have to do. So, climb out the window. There will be some vines there. Go and claw shot to this spire. I don't know how these spires would have formed. Maybe you guys can explain it, but I don't really see. Now, that guy's going to cause some trouble for us, so let's go ahead and shoot him. Oh, man, your reflexes. There we go. Now that we've shot him, we can get up here. His reflexes are really good. Like, those are lightning-fast reflexes. He didn't even know I was there, and yet, out of the blue, he just blocks, his, blocks an arrow. That's training. I mean, that's just not a garden variety enemy. That is training. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop complimenting the enemies because I know they're programmed like that. It, they don't have backstories or anything. Also, this looks... It's gold. That's weird. Is it gold because it drops minerals? I don't know. Okay, now, he mentioned something about... Uh, that you need, like, a big container to hold all that water. Now, where else have we seen a big con- Oh. I guess Fee's going to tell us. Fee, where can we find such a container? Master Link, I detect no water in the, imme in the immediate vicinity. Of course, you'll need a large basin to proceed past the, Im the impediment, but you will also need water. I recommend you start with that task. So, uh, you're- You'd probably be wondering, also, there's a really cool bench right here. That's really neat. But you're probably wondering where we might get water. Um, well, we saw Farron, the water dragon. She had a basin that would probably work. And, you know, as for water, Farron Lake is filled with it. So I say we start there. Let's go ahead and fly over there. I really like how it's not just cut and dry, you go to this dungeon, you complete it, you go to next dungeon and complete it. I mean, yes, there's some of that here, but it's not as prevalent. You know, it's, um, go to this dungeon, but in order to get inside, you have to go to this place, and this place, and this place, which you visited previously. And also, you have to use things that you've gotten a long time ago. Like, we, we use the items that we have, well, except for the slingshot, but we use most of the items that we've gotten um, in all of the dungeons, which I really like. You know, it's not like Ocarina of Time, where you get you get um, the hookshot, and you use nothing but the hookshot in the dungeon, 
or you get the hover boots and the lens of truth, and you use nothing but those two items in the dungeon. Maybe a bomb, but you really you don't really use much. I like that you do here. Oh. Apparently we didn't... No, we did. Apparently, the game didn't count us visiting um, the... Uh, it didn't count us visiting the bird, stone, bird statue next to the ancient cistern, so apparently we have to travel there ourselves. So, um, I'll be right back. There we go. Now it will count it. Though, I kind of doubt that we'll have to visit this area again. Now, actually... It's, very, it's a good thing that we came here, because, remember a while back, I pointed out there are some vines up here. We can claw shot to them, and we can get a, um, a goddess cube. So, it was actually very good that we had to travel back here, because I might have forgotten, had we just been able to f immediately fast travel there. So neat. We did good. Also, well, I was going to say, we can get... Uh, there's another goddess cube in the air. In, there are a couple goddess cubes we can get now that we have the claw shots. But let's actually wait, because we're not... We're just visiting. We're just dropping in and dropping out. We don't actually need to stay. So, let's just do our business. Uh, do our business. Let's just do what we need to do and leave. And when we need to come back here, we will. Ah, it's you. Tell me. Are you mastering the power that dwells within your sword? Oh, you wish to borrow my water basin. Hmm, very well. I have recovered, and I have no intention of having to soak in it again soon. Be gone with it. It's yours to use as you please. To transport the water dragon's basin in, uh, to the volcano, you will need to enlist the service of that transport robot. Shall I send word to, to, send word to him? Call him. Understood, Master. I will call him at once. And instantly, as if he was already following us, he appears. I'm guessing that he's actually following us around all the time. Maybe he's stalking Fee. He does seem to like her. Mr. Fee, berserk. Uh, my deep apologies for keeping you waiting. Let's see here. This cargo looks very heavy, but it's well within my payload tolerances. Bur Berzer. Master Short Pants, watch carefully while I demonstrate what a real hero looks like. Bzzat. I'll show you what a real hero acts like. Well, sadly we need his help, so I can't teach him what a he real hero looks like. As usual, Ver, I will. I shall await you in the skies above. Okay, so we have to meet him and actually... Fl well, actually, I was going to say, we actually have to fly there. No, duh. <laughs> no, no, duh. Master, your task here is complete for, uh, complete for the moment. We should return to the sky so that we can set a course for the volcano. Okay. No. I will actually... Thank you. I'll actually meet you at the uh, volcano. Because, yes, this is a long episode, but we actually have a lot to do, uh, a lot to do, and, um, yeah, so, I'll meet you back. Sir, this, th so this is the entrance to the volcano. I better get there before Master Short Pants. Well, I'm, how did you do that? I'm traveling at, like, terminal velocity. He shouldn't be able to do that. Now, we had no choice on where we could land. So, let's see what the explanation is. What's going on, Berzer? I almost blew my uh, blew a rotor trying to slow myself during that descent, Zerber. Anyway, this is where you wanted the water, right? What? The summit? Why didn't you say so from the start, Berzer? You don't w I don't want to carry this thing back to the sky. It's heavy, Berzerd. Berzerd. So, and the enemies have moved into this area more so than ever before. 
This place is zert swarming with enemies. Verm or monsters, mind you. I bust up enemies like a junkyard wrecker. Z Zat! Too bad I've got my mitts full with this basin. Bzz. Hey, Master Shortpants, since we came all this way, let's play a little game called Protect the Robot. Bzzr. Here's how it works. I'll follow you up to the volcano, up the volcano, zer, and you make sure nothing touches me. Good? Got it. Your job is is simple, zer. You make you make sure none of those monsters lay a claw on me. Not one claw. So we have to use our bow a lot. Now there's actually a glitch. Um, I believe where you can like cheat the system and basically warp to the top. Um, I think that's how it works, but I'm not sure how to do it off the top of my head. I'm not abusing glitches in this run playthrough. Well, not that many glitches, but <laughs> I don't know how to do it off the top of my head, so I won't do it now. But I'll put it in the description. I'll put um, a guide in the description of how to do it. So anyway, we have to uh, use our bow a lot, and you may think that we can just take the... Um, the updrafts up to the top of the volcano. Actually, no, we have to do this the hard way. We have to run there manually, and I barely missed that. So, uh, come with me. Scrapper. Oh, there's another one. Shoot him in the head. Or in the ear. I guess the ear works fine. I'll ignore that bug. Whoa. Get off me! Yes, I'm gonna handle those. Be quiet. You didn't even see that. Okay, so let's... Oh! Run, run, run. Come on, come on, come on. Good boy. Okay, I that was a little bit hasty of me, I admit. I should have checked to see if the coast was clear. Shoot that one in the ear. Apparently these guys are allergic to us piercing their ears. So, let's take that one out. There we go. Got him in the neck, and we can run up here. Up. Recover our stamina. And continue to run. Is he keeping up? I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, he's keeping up. Oh. And here are the two red rupees that uh, we set aside for ourselves a long time back. Time ago. It was maybe, uh, wow, 25 episodes ago? Wow, that was a long time ago. Well, it paid off. So let's go ahead and take him out. It only took three arrows because the bow is a very powerful weapon. I believe it's actually the most powerful weapon in the game. I'm not sure about that, though. That's another thing I'll put on screen. Is it the powerful, most powerful weapon? If it isn't, I think it's just like the second pa most powerful. But it's up there. Let's grab these. There we go. I don't see any Bokoblins. They're probably up there. Yeah, they are. Put a... There we go. Up. There we go. Good. Perfect. That We got the range in. Just shoot a little bit above their heads like that. There we go. Perfect. Now for these guys, we're going to shoot really high up because he's uphill. And also, he's almost out of range, so about there. Did we hit him? No, we didn't. Let's try it again. And got him. Second shot, right in the stomach. That was beautiful. So now we can run up, and the coast is clear, it looks. Oh, wait, no, there's one more. Actually, no, there are two more. Okay. Good, I get some archery pack practice. Shoot right there. Whoa. That was really weird. Like, the bow suddenly whacked out on me. Okay, so let's shoot him. I'm guessing about there will work. Drop. No, that was way too high. About here. Drop. Missed again. A little bit lower. There we go. Got him in the uh, face, which I think that would hurt a lot. So we just run up, avoid his body, which is... Oh! I did not see him! Okay. That was close. And you didn't miss... You didn't hear it there, but... 
he kind of does a siren when he's in trouble, which is kind of cool. If, like, you're running ahead of him and you hear a siren, it's a good way to tell if he's in trouble. Okay, I don't see any more archers. I think we're good. Once we reach the top, there's going to be some trouble, probably. Up at the top, and... I don't see anyone. Oh, I see some, uh... Blue ma- uh, blue bokoblins. The cool thing about them is that they all take one hit from arrows to kill. So, you know, it just takes three ar arrows to do them in. And this is a metal shield moblin, so let's take him out with arrows. It's funny that he's not even raising his shield. There we go. Oh, he has a lot more HP, so it's probably gonna take... There we go. I could have done it with if, with fewer arrows if I had charged them, but no matter. We have six arrows left. I think we're good. I don't see any keys. And actually, okay, our dousing is picking up another goddess chest. Oh, here it is. Here he is. And hit him. There's one there, but we can ignore him for now. He's not going to bother us as much as the archers are. Okay, let's fully charge an arrow, because that'll do more damage. Fully charge. One more, that'll do him in. Dead. Oh, wow, he's not. Okay. Jump! Just calm down, I got, I handled it. You weren't even hit. Oh, uh, never mind, he probably was... Whoa, we have no arrows. Uh, uh, run. That seems like a good idea. Come on, come on. Okay. Uh, maybe our beetle, since we're out of ammo. Maybe that'll knock him down. Will it? No, it didn't. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to do this, uh, Rambo style. Run. No, that's not Rambo style, Link. I stopped, clearly. Okay, let's go ahead and drop. Jump. No! Well, we can't get him, and we need to, because he ha he's guarding a goddess cube, I think. Um, so, run here, hopefully, and there may be a... No, there isn't. Man, I really need to kill you, sir. Or, wait... Where is that? Where is that? It's straight this way. Is it pointing us to... It is. It's pointing us to the cave. Lame. Okay, I'm surprised all the water isn't evaporating, but that's fine. If it, if it does, we can always refill at the, uh, at the waterfall. I'm hoping that there's some Bokoblins in here. Whoa! Ugh. Startled me, man. Okay. I'm hoping there's some Bokoblins that we can use to replenish. Hit, hit, kill him. Ow. Okay, um... We're getting hit like crazy. Hit him. There we go. There we go. He's dead. There we go. He's gone. And we get their tails. Though sadly, we don't get any arrows. We could really use some arrows right now. I really need arrows. Grab that. That was kind of creepy. It moved before we grabbed it. Okay. Run. We don't have any time to spare... Well, we're not on a timer, but we don't have um, arrows, so we need to rush. And is, are you behind us? Good. See, we made it. Just run through here, and we can uh, set, set off that uh, frog switch. Here we are. You want me to pour the water on this? No problem, Zerber. There we go.
Now we can enter the fir the uh, the fire dungeon, the second fire dungeon in the game. Did you see that, Mr. Sphee? If there's anything else I can do to be of assistance, sir, just call me anytime. Zerber, zer. Thank you, Scrapper. Even though you're rude to us, but you help, you're helpful. The flames blocking your path have been fully extinguished. I recommend proceeding ahead. Okay, and we are going to do that next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and, um, well, actually, let's talk to Gorko. You are something else, bud. There's nothing you cannot do. You go on in. I've, uh, you've earned the right to blaze this trail. Get it? Blaze the trail? Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, next episode in Skyward Sword, we'll do that, just that. We'll head into the fire, fire sanctuary. See you guys then.